Hello everyone, welcome to Sade's Tarot Tea. So today I'm going to be talking about Cancer Moons. Ooh, don't we have a lot to talk about with Cancer Moons. I love talking about Water Moons because you guys are so emotional. I think it's so cute. And yeah, sometimes it can be a lot to handle, but I've already knocked on Cancer. So oh, guys, don't worry. I'm not going to be mean like I was in my rating video. I had some Cancers a little, little upset, but it's okay. Y'all moody and that's okay. Like own that shit. You know what I mean? Like I'm extra as fuck. Like, I have Jupiter in the first house. I've got a bunch of Sag energy. I've got my son in the fifth. So, it's like, I'm extra as fuck. Like, I knock on myself all the time. Let's learn to laugh at ourselves, Cancers. Just saying. So, let's go ahead and start off with talking about what the moon placement is all about. Okay? The moon placement is all about the mother. The If you think about the moon, it's very delicate. It's very fragile in a sense. Not in a, like, horrible way, but it's very fragile. It's very emotional. It's very watery because it the moon rules the emotions. It rules the tides of the ocean. It just goes, right? So, and... It, it's ruled by cancer hello like cancer this is your ruling planet this is you guys are so nurturing you guys are so open-hearted you guys are so caring and you know cancer moons get knocked on a lot because people say that they're crybabies but you know why it's because they're so in tune with their emotions I mean when you're in tune with your emotions the way a cancer moon is it's really hard to ignore your emotions it's really hard to shut your emotions off because your your emotions are always going they're always fluctuating you know Know? and the ocean never stays still it's always going it's always going in going out going in going out with the tides right so it's like they even though they get into their emotions they do come back out of their emotions you know you just gotta let them be in their emotions I mean that's where they get their emotional fulfillment from is by being in their emotions by being um closed off in their emotions cancers are very protective over their emotions um you know even though we see them being very like moody and in their emotions a lot of times cancer moons won't tell you what their emotions are because they're just so they i don't know i just feel like they think that they're getting judged a lot and a lot of people i find don't understand cancer moons because i think this is part of why they get they get made fun of because you know they their emotions always always fluctuate because they're always pulling from other people they're always feeling other people's emotions so that tends to affect the cancer moon's emotions a lot of times cancer moons walk into a room and they don't know where the fuck the emotions are coming from they need to really work on um you know protecting themselves i always tell cancer moons in my readings i tell you guys that read on that i read on that are cancer moons or water moons i always tell you guys to protect your emotions protect yourself excuse me protect yourself because you do take on other people's emotions cancer moons are like a sponge like they really absorb the emotions of other people and they don't even realize that they're doing it it's kind of scary and I think this is why Cancer Moon's emotions, like, fluctuate all the time. You know, I think that's also why they always are crying, or they're always upset, or they're always angry, or they're always this and that. Because, like, or happy, whatever, you know. Because they're pulling other people's emotions. I think the only way that a Cancer Moon feels so stable and set in their emotions is if they're in their house. Because that is where the Cancer, or wherever they call home, because that is where the Cancer Moon feels emotionally stable. They feel comfortable. They feel like no one's going to judge them. They feel like they can go about um, being themselves, you know? Cancer moons are very misunderstood. I can relate to this because I have my moon in Aquarius. So they're very misunderstood. They really don't, you know, open up to people unless you're very close to them, unless you're their family. And even then, I feel like, you know, the Cancer Moon always leaves something for the imagination. They always leave something for themselves um, or for you to interpret. So, you know, a lot of times Cancer Moons are very aware that they're emotional, but I don't think that they're aware why they're emotional. You know, they just like, I don't know, I just cry. I'm just crying, you know. But the beautiful thing about having a Cancer Moon as a friend or a lover or whatever is that they will let you cry to them. They'll let you. They're that Zodiac sign placement that... You know, if you need a good cry, they will let you cry to them. I said this about Scorpio Moon, but unlike a Scorpio Moon, the Cancer Moon won't completely, like, use it against you. They can resort to this if they, because Cancers can be very dark. 
um, in their emotions. I mean, they are my opposite. So they can be very, like, not in my moon placement, but in my sun placement. Um, they're, they're the opposite of Capricorn, but they can be very dark in their emotions. They can be very, you know, pessimistic and, you know, it does take a lot for them to open up about this. They don't like showing that side of their emotion because they do, again, they feel like they are being misunderstood, you know? Um, cancers a lot of time go through, go through their life not feeling like they fit in, you know, because, um, and I feel that from their energy, I never really dived into cancer moons because I don't know a lot of cancer moons, but I feel that from them. Guys, do you feel misunderstood? I feel like you guys feel very misunderstood. I feel like people don't really take your, your guys' emotions seriously and that's why you don't open up to a lot of people. That's why you don't trust a lot of people. You know, if you get a cancer moon's trust, know that you are you're golden man in that cancer moon's life so also you know the moon rules the mother so cancer moons are very close to their moms um you know at a young age this is the moon placement also deals with how we were as kids you know so i feel like cancer moons no matter what your sun sign is you were very close to your mother um your mom probably babied you a lot right you know you're very you're very much crying all the time you she didn't know why you were crying she didn't know how to help you you just needed to cry you just needed a good cry and that's what cancer moons do is just they just need a good cry they just need to go in their room and cry you know and they don't like here's what i don't understand about cancer moons is they don't like when you say this about them but it's the truth you guys like crying own it it's okay i wish i could cry i wish i could i mean i do cry but i wish i could be open as you guys are about crying you guys don't give a fuck like you will cry like i I'm an air moon. Air moons don't like crying. We don't like crying, especially in front of people. But you guys will live in your emotion, and I fucking commend that shit. Like, that's awesome, you know? Also, cancer moons, like I said, they're still very close to their mom. So these are the types of people that didn't probably, they don't, probably didn't leave home, you know? Uh, as soon as people said they should have, maybe they stayed home with their mom or they're still living with their parents. These are the types of people that probably are still living with their parents or living at home um, with their family, if not with their parents. They're in some type of environment where they're around or close to their family in the same proximity as their family if they are out of the house. Cancers are just very caring. I love it. You guys are very nurturing, you know? But also, do not piss a Cancer Moon off because they can hold and they will motherfucking hold a grudge on your ass. They will never forget that shit and they will just like use it against you. Cancer Moons can be very manipulative like Scorpio Moons. They can be very dangerous when they're upset. You know, they are the types of people that will, you know, say whatever they want to say to you and then they'll just cut you off and they're just like cut you up and leave you lying. I mean, if you think about a crab, it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, that's cancer mood. Like, they just will be like, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, like, they will, if, if they reach that level with you, they will just like, you pushed me. You pushed me. Okay. <laughs> also, I feel like it takes a long time for cancer moons to, like, open up to people. Even in relationships, they aren't quick to, kind of like Venus and cancer, but they're not quick to, like... Even within their relationship, it will take a long time. Even if the Cancer Moon is in that relationship for a while, it will take a long time for you to understand that Cancer and to get to know that Cancer. Because like Scorpios, I feel like they have multiple layers to them. Cancers have multiple layers. Um, and they're so fun to talk to. I'm not going to lie. Cancer Moons, Cancer Energy, I love talking to Cancers. I don't understand y'all, but I love talking to you guys. You guys are awesome to talk to. I just feel like you guys don't judge me. I really love it. Even with my emotions, when I, I notice when I do open up to a cancer moon or cancer whatever placement, I've noticed that they don't judge you. Like, you you open to, up to them about whatever, and they're just like, okay. Like, they just, they're just so understanding, and they're just so fun to talk to, and I really love that about them. So, guys, this was my video on cancer moons. I hope you enjoyed it. I know some of you guys are waiting for your moon placements. Well, here it is. Cancer moons, let me know what you guys think. Um, did I touch on everything? Did you agree? Did you not agree? Let me know. Educate me in the comment section below, okay? And I hope you guys, again, once again, enjoy this video. This has been my video on the cancer moon placement. I hope you guys are having a good day or night. Love and light, guys. Bye.